what's going on, okay? Okay. Um, as you know, Nicholas was charged with first degree murder yeah. and um, armed criminal action. And what he, um, what happened is, is he got a bus ticket yeah. and he came to Springfield, which is where I live and yeah. work. And he, um, he and Gypsy conspired to kill her mother. Um, he stabbed her numerous times in the back while she slept in her bed. Oh my God. Um, they cleaned up the area. Um, uh, got a he had a hotel room. They cleaned they up the, I mean, he, it was all like. Oh my God. They cleaned up some blood that was in the house. Um, they got a hotel room. They hung out until they can get the bus ticket to come back here. Um, things that were recovered from your house, and did they leave you a list to tell you the things that were No, recovered? no, I... Okay. I don't know what the laws are here, but like when we do a search warrant where I live, we have to leave a list of everything that we took. Mm -hmm. um, one thing that um, your husband might remember is that recently Nicholas received a package in the mail. Yeah, okay, I mean, I don't know about it, but if he says, yeah, absolutely. Yeah, yeah. and that was... house there to your house. Are you serious? Yes, ma'am. Um, oh and that was located in your house. I mean, it's just, my son has never done anything yeah. violent, so it's like... That's what he her, said. I mean, if, oh my God. He said that he's never... I mean, what what do you think about this? I don't know. I mean, I know that once he started going down there, we always keep a close watch on him because he has... And that's Is he being diagnosed with... Okay. So that's why we kind of, you know, treat him like when he was the last doctor he talked to, they said his mind is probably always going to be 15, 16, right around there. So we always try to keep a close watch on him when he said he wanted to go down there. I mean, I was a basket case. I'm like, you've never been out on your own, you know what I mean? So um, the last time he didn't tell us, though. Okay. He got a cab and never said anything to us, and I saw a taxi pull up in my driveway. Okay. And I ran out there right as he was loading his stuff, and I'm like, where are you going? He's like, well, I didn't think you were going to let me go. I'm like, well, I mean, why would, you know, it's not okay for you to just take off. You don't tell us where you're going. So, um, I just, he's never done anything like this. Not, nothing violent, you know what I mean? That's why I'm in shock. Okay. I don't, when I think he's madly in love with this I girl. know, I know. It's like, even when I try to talk to him about, oh, you know, there's plenty of girls out there. You're a good looking kid. Why don't you meet a girl at church or something, you know? Um, he just, I mean, that's the way it works, though, when you have what he has. It's like, your mind focuses on one thing. Do you know what I mean? Yes, ma'am. So, um, I never thought he'd do something like this, though. Okay. I don't, I don't know. I'm just trying to hold it together because I don't want to lose it right now. I know. I have a little boy at home. I know. Trying to explain to him, hey, you're never going to see your brother again. Or, you know what I mean? It's like... Does he have many friends? Uh, Nick? Yeah. He hangs out with his cousin, but his cousin's a good kid. Okay. I mean, they're good kids. They don't... Did his cousin know anything about this? Absolutely not. Okay. Oh my gosh, she's like an angel. Is he in shock over this? I don't know if his cousin knows. I haven't had my phone. Okay. They put through me down on the ground, took us to the school, and I haven't talked to anybody. Okay. I mean, I just called my work today and nobody knew. Okay. Nobody knew what happened, thank God, but... How are we... I mean, just for us to get down there to see them or trial or whatever. I mean, someone that can This is what's going to happen. Um, he'll be presented with some paperwork for extradition. Okay. Um, the way he talks, he's going he's gonna to sign papers to be extradited. Okay. Um, he'll be taken back to Missouri. Okay. Um, once he's in Missouri, um, he'll be at the Greene County Jail in Springfield, Missouri. And that's where his trial will be and everything will be okay. there. Okay. I mean, will someone be in contact with us? So we... mm -mm. He's an adult. He'll have to make contact with okay. himself. Okay. He will have, like, phone access and, and things like that in our county. I don't know what they do here. Right. He'll be here for at least 30 to 90 days. Okay. So you might get with this county and make arrangements for visits and stuff okay. like that. Um, he didn't want you to know, he said that you would be a basket case, is his words, yeah. and that he said that to make sure that we let you know that he loves you, and I told him that we would, 
and um, uh, he's really in love with this gypsy, and he did tell me, I mean, I interviewed him for a long time, and he told me that, um, that he did it because he loves her, and he wants to be with her, and he thought this was the only way that they could do that. Okay. So. That's the thing that sucks, is that he's such a good kid. He's a good kid. He's not, you know, he's definitely not built for prison. I'm just in shock. There's no way we would have tied him to his bed. Yeah. Even when that cab pulled up, I got—I just got this feeling. Of, what is? Where's he going? What did you think about Gypsy? You know, um, you know, it was weird because when I picked him up um, from the bus station. What day did you I, pick him up? I I want to say his like his ticket he told me was for Thursday morning. But like my husband said, he thought it was the next day, so maybe I could have got it okay. wrong. But, um, you know, I, I even asked her, how's your mom doing? How was your, like, because I, I was told she was in a homeless shelter. Her mom kicked her out. So I asked her how her mom was doing. This might have been the first thing I asked her. Mm -hmm. And they, no big deal. They acted like nothing. Um, oh, we just don't see eye to eye, you know. Um, and then... Out of the conversation, but it wasn't real long. But she kept saying, "Oh, ma'am, I'm a good. Uh, I'll clean and I'll get a job." And I'm thinking to myself, "What are you talking about? You know what I mean? What are you talking about? I thought you'd maybe stay here for a week or something. <laughs> I don't know." But um, so it wasn't normal. My husband said when I was at work, she came down and made food. It was just weird. Uh, was her. Did she ever say anything or do anything that made you question anything about no, her? No, no, because they just kind of hung out in the next room and okay. whatever, watched TV or whatever. Okay. Um, yeah, I, I can't even, you know, it's incomprehensible what's going on right now. I haven't even talked to any of my family members. So when was he diagnosed with monotonous? Oh, he's had it since he was uh, a kid. Did like he graduate from high school? He did. Okay, from, from where? Nathan Hale. Okay. He's from West Dallas. Okay. Did he go to any college? No, he did take like computer courses, but as far as like a college, college enrollment, no. Okay. Has he ever lived outside the home? No. Okay. Okay. I mean, he says he gets lonely quick. Is that true? You know, he says he. I I, I guess he's been talking to her for a couple of years that okay. I know of. Okay, talking to this gypsy. Yeah. Okay. I mean, um, but I always we always try to talk to him about dating someone around here or, you know, yeah, um, because my, one of my friends let me know something was on Facebook about her, um, saying she was trying to get pregnant. Wow. I'm like, are you kidding me? I, I had a long conversation with her about it. I was like, are you kidding me? I, what? I mean, that, I freaked me out right there. I mean, Do you think girl. that she was trying to get pregnant? Oh. We should probably give her a pregnancy test on. Huh? Oh my god. I, yeah, I okay. guess. Yeah, I'll, I mean, I'll she, let them know there. You look at her Facebook account, it's on there. Okay, yeah. what, what was the name on her Facebook? There were, I, there, there were like a couple of them, but hers, their names are like together on one of them. You know what, I could probably pull it up on my phone. Yeah, if you don't mind. I just that might help I us can't out. believe that, I don't know, I'm just in shock. Let me go on mine. <clears throat> section. You know what? It's, um, I would just go under, like, Gypsy, Nicholas Rose, or their, their names together. They're like, there's like, I know Nicholas is in there, and I know Gypsy's in there, and I think Rose might be in there. Okay. It's like, they had, a. Uh, what was the Rose? Is that her? I have no idea. Okay. I know, you know, I know nothing about her. All I know okay. is that I said, the first time I went down there, I said, Nick, you can't, if a parent doesn't want you around their kid, that's the way it is, you know, that's your parent. Yeah. You know, what do I teach you? What respect? You have to respect people. And, um. How old do you think she is? I was told she was 19. Okay. How old is she? Well, we have information. She's 17, 19, and 23. So, um, the problem is, is that, um. Um, I'll just tell you. I don't know if you've seen the news media. Did no, you see I, I won't film? even turn the TV on. Okay. Well, this is the situation with Gypsy, is that her mom um, 
it's my understanding her mom had her pretend like she was like 16 years old and they would push her around in a wheelchair and pretend like she couldn't walk. And this went on for many of years. And she would wear a mask and hats and tell them that she was going to treatment and they would raise thousands of dollars for her and her family. But actually, she, am, am I correct in saying she walks just fine? Yeah. She she's walks up and down the house. stairs. The stairs to our house, they go straight up. And, and she and walks up and down those just yeah, fine. Yeah, I mean, if she would have fell down, I would have helped her up or something. But right. She was walking. Okay. When I picked them up from the bus station, she was walking. She, yeah. So for years, they pretended like she couldn't walk and pretend like she was ill and... Um, just to collect benefits. To... Um, I'm not really sure why, but they would do, the community, our community would do fundraisers for them. Wow. Um, so that's something you're going to see in the media. Our sheriff just made a, a media announcement about that because to let our, our, fam, our, our families in our area were so concerned because these were supposedly really Christian people mm -hmm. and, and here they're missing and then come to find out mom's dead and then mm -hmm. come to find out now Nick's the one that stabbed, it, stabbed her and, um. So what's his, his cousin's name? Oh, uh, Ricky. Ricky. Would I be able to speak with Ricky? Does he live around the area? Um, or He lives in, you know what, there's, uh, I'm telling you right him? now, there, there's no way that absolutely not when Ricky, he's like. Do you think Ricky even knows anything about this no, at all? No, absolutely not. Ricky's an angel. Okay. You know, he has a heart. Uh, problem. He just goes to work and comes home. He's a great kid. How old is he? Um, him and Quinn are, or Quinn, I'm talking about my younger son. Mm -hmm. Him and Nick are pretty close to the same age, but no, Ricky's an angel. Okay. Absolute angel. Is there a phone number where I can call him? Let me see if, oh my God, he's probably going to be in shock too. He's got to be on here. I don't want to give him a heart attack if he has heart conditions, but... Um, 414, uh -huh. these are so bad, 336, okay. it's right there, 8157, okay, I may give him a call tonight and talk to him. Yeah, I mean, you might have to console him because they are really close, because they're both, you know. Is that your side of the family, or his dad's side his of the family? His dad's side. Where does his dad live? His dad lives in West Dallas, which is right outside of Milwaukee, uh, west. And then Alice is A-L-L-I-S. And what's his dad's name? Bob. And where did the curry come in? That is my maiden name. Okay. And his dad's last name is Goldie John, so... Did he change it, or...? Um, you know, I don't know. I When he was born, I gave him my name. Okay. Um, so I don't know. I don't know what he did. I don't know. Do you know if... Goldie John's his legal name? It very well might be. It, but all I know is that I don't think he changed it legally. On his birth certificate, it's my name. Okay. Birth certificate's Curry? Yep. Okay. Is he, how is he doing? I mean, is he like, I don't know, I mean, he I knows can see him trying to hurt himself or something. Not just because he can't take pressure. You know what I mean? Yeah. Has um, he ever tried to hurt himself before? No, but he gets really upset even when you have a normal conversation with him and there's like, you're trying to tell him something or scold him about something. He just can't take pressure. And what does he do when that happens? Um, it just gets really huffy and puffy and like a kid would. Okay. So, I don't know. He is, um, he knows what he's done is wrong. Yeah. Um, he knows that, or well, he says that he would have never hurt anyone if it wasn't for um, Gypsy Absolutely. and his love for Gypsy. Um, he says she wanted him to do it. Oh my God. Um, but he's doing fine. He cried a lot um, today when I spoke with him briefly. Um, I had to tell him about the warrants and stuff, and he cried a lot. Not necessarily about the charges. He's like, okay. He appears okay with that part of it, but the part that he's never going to see Gypsy again or wow. you or whatever. So she amazingly got in his head pretty well. Like, So those things he's struggling with, you know. Um, I tried to explain 
to him everything I could. He took great comfort in knowing that I'll be where he's going yeah. in Missouri because he says that that way he can reach out and talk to someone, yeah. and I will. Um, I am a detective. I am law enforcement, but I also am a mom, and I have yeah. a heart. <laughs> and he's going to be there, and if he wishes to speak with me, he just fills out a little form. I explained all that to him, what he needs to do to talk to me. Okay. And so he, I, I anticipate he'll probably do that once he gets there. Okay. Um, I don't... I don't know, you know, it's just a horrible situation. It's, I mean, I, we were... They came up with a story of how this happened, or they came up with a story, but their story didn't take too long to figure out was wrong, because yeah. we had plenty of evidence to counter everything that they could try to say at first, but it didn't, too, not too much longer, he, he just told what happened. So how do you, I mean, does she have, like, a record or anything? No, she's never been in trouble, ever. And it's my understanding he's only been troubled about the McDonald's incident. Yeah, yeah. That's all I could find. Right, right, right. right. Is yeah. that the only time? That's the only time. Do you have a way for me to get a hold of Bob? Um, I can give you his parents' number. Okay. It's uh, area code 414. Okay. 258. Okay. 2948. Okay. Uh, and now your last name is, what is that? Goldhammer. Is it like gold? It's like gold, yep. Uh, hammer without the H, sorry. Oh. So like gold. Hammer. Hammer. Yeah. And what's your date for Stephanie? 52869. All right. And your social? Uh, okay. I just need that's my report. Um, um, and when's the last time you've seen Bob? His dad? Yeah. Um, gosh. Maybe a month, month and a half. He would go visit him. Okay. How does he get there? Does he drive or? We'll, we'll usually, usually he'll get a ride, like Grandpa will come pick him up. Okay. Or we'll drive him and we'll pick him up. Okay. Um, has he, you think he would have told Bob about anything that he did? Absolutely does? not. Have you talked to Bob and told no, Bob? No, I haven't had my phone. Oh, yeah. It's right. really hard because all the phones are, all the numbers are in your phone. Yeah, your phone. I do know that. My oh, whole sorry. life's wrapped up in my phone. <laughs> So I do understand that. What is, um, I was at your house today, but what is the address again? It's uh, West 228 South 8755. Do you spell out the West and the South? Nope, you can just put the S there and the W there. Okay. And then it's Cherry Street. These addresses are way different than where <laughs> I'm from. Big Bend? Yep. And what's the zip? Uh, 53103. Um, is there anything that you can think of that we didn't talk about that maybe we should have, or anything that you can think of that would either help Nicholas or Gypsy or anything? I just, um, I just want everyone to know that it, as much as we tried to, like, make him, not stop talking to her, but see that there are other people out there. Um, there was no way we could do it. Okay. He would just get upset. Has he been like this with other girls? No. No? No. Has he had a lot of girlfriends? Maybe one or two. I mean, he has girls that are friends, but, right. you know, um, he had, like, had one girlfriend who was in high school. Okay. But, um, no, I mean, like I said, they've been talking for, I'm going to say at least a couple of years. Okay. And how many times has he went to Springfield this year? Just twice. Okay. And they were both this year? Yeah. Okay. Okay. It's a form of it. It's a form. Okay. The disease, the illness, and then it's just like a little okay. of it, yeah. Okay. Um, and who who's his doctor? He hasn't been to the doctor in a while. So um, right. the doctor that diagnosed him, it's in the papers. I probably okay. have to pull the papers out somewhere. Okay. Um, when's the last time you went to a doctor? That she was probably around 19, maybe. It was probably 19. Okay. And he functions just fine without his medicine? Yeah, the okay. thing is with his medicine, when he was with his dad, he was taking his medicine. And um, he just didn't want to take it anymore. He moved back in with me, and he didn't want to take it anymore. But he seemed to be okay. Okay. He wasn't, you know, right. I mean, used to I raised him. I, he, to me, he didn't need it. But Okay. All right. And he was able to get through school just fine? Yeah, I mean, you obviously he was in LB classes, but... Okay. Um, 
Uh, LD classes in high school? Yeah. Okay. I mean, he's a good, the thing is, he's a good kid. I've never had any problems with him. Has he ever became not. angry with you and insulted you or anything? Absolutely not. No way. He would never. No okay. way. No way. Gets a little frustrated, but when he gets frustrated, he'll just cry. Okay. Um, no way. He's never been violent. That's what's so shocking. Okay. I just, the, the way the girl acted, I mean, how can you do something to your mother and lose your mother and just act like that? I was like, I'm just trying to wrap my head around it. Did you notice anything odd about her voice? Just her southern draw. Okay. <laughs> you know, like, yes, ma'am, and that, okay. but... No. Was she high pitchy or squealy or anything? Kind of. Like, okay. Yeah, but once she started telling me that she planned to live at my house and get a job, I was like, what? What is she talking about? You know what I mean? <laughs> okay, that's not going to happen, but okay. I don't know. Sometimes you try and do things for your kids because you sure. just want them to be happy. Sure. And um, as much as we tried to get him to just... So why were you guys friends with her on Facebook? I wasn't. Oh, she okay. just, he asked me to, um, you know, she wants to ask you questions about, you know, whatever. Fine. You know, I don't have any conversations with her on Facebook. Give okay. me a break. Okay. You know, absolutely not. Okay. Um, but she was talking about wanting to get pregnant. And yeah, one of like, my friends called me. She's like, Steph, you need to go on Facebook or I was like, yeah, I've known my out. friends since I was like 15 years old, so whatever she says I do, you mm -hmm. know, we go way back, so that's when I was like, okay, something's, she's not okay, something's not right there, you know, but trying to tell him that, it's like, he gets all defiant and, you know, right. defensive, I should say. Did they ever tell you they were getting married or anything like that? God, no. Okay. I mean, we probably would have had the time to his better, so. <laughs> okay. That's the thing, he's a normal looking kid, I mean, he has, but, you know, he's just so, was selling himself short. Even, like, the servers on my work would be like, he's a cute kid, you know, well, fortunately, he has this beast that's been talking to him for a couple of years, and, like I said, he sets his mind to something, it's just like, he can't focus on other things. I mean, if you learn about it, that's a little bit about it. Okay. Like, if, you, if you focus on something, you can be really good at it. Okay. But, um, yeah, he wasn't having dating anyone else. I'm like, let's go to church. You might find a nice church girl, you know? Okay, well, um, you can have your phone back, and let me get your phone number in case I need to call yeah, you. Yeah, it's 262-366-4898. Uh, okay. And if you do see him before you go back, uh -huh. or I don't know if he's going back with you, probably not, but uh, just tell him that... His mom and his stepdad love him. Okay. And that, um, you know, we will come and see him. Okay. I just, I'm just trying to wait for everything. People at my house, cameras and everything. I just want to give it a little understand. bit. I completely understand. Yeah. You know. I completely understand. And, and um, you, know, you know him better than anybody probably in the world. So yeah. you know what he's thinking. You know how he's feeling. And you know what's going on with him. Yeah. And um, you all know, I can do for you. I almost feel like he's safer. Yeah. That's really, really bad to say, but I almost feel like he's safer now than having contact with her on a regular basis, knowing what I know now. Yeah. Did you, um, how long had it been that you were trying to discourage the relationship? Um, I'd say months. You know, okay. I'm like, Nick, you're a good-looking kid. I mean, you're a nice kid. You Would know? he always talk about her? Um, just that he was always online with her, or she send them, I mean, she sent them like a ring in the mail or something, and always, I love you, and this and that, and like, you don't even know her relationship on, on the internet is not a relationship. What kind of ring did she send me? I don't know, so she probably got it out of a bubblegum machine, I don't know. Okay. But, um, I'm sure he could tell you, okay. you know, I just, it's really sad, because he is a good kid, and he's a good looking kid, and for him to ruin his life over that, I'm sorry, but She's a beast. Yeah. I don't even, I, I don't know. Well, I that's what we know so my, far. My younger son, who's, who loves his big brother, you know? Yeah. He's the only brother he has, and trying to explain to him, you're probably not going to see Nick, and he doesn't, you know, Understand, right? Yeah. 
Well, I'd like to give you my card. Okay. And if you think of anything that you want to talk to me about or whatever, you can call me. I'll try my hardest to remember to call you when I know that, they're, that he's been extradited. Okay. Because they won't typically tell the family or us. They just do it because okay. of safety reasons. Right, right. So once I know that he's in our jail, I'll try to give you a call and let okay. you know. Okay. I appreciate everything. I mean, like I said. It's a hard situation. I can't even imagine to be sitting in your shoes at mm -hmm. all. And I know you've been displaced out of your home. And we've had your cell phones. And we've done all of this stuff. But the purpose is, is because... He did something very, very horrible. Is he, is he going to be allowed to have contact with her? He wants it bad. And um, sometimes, I don't know how this works, and I've never understood this in all my years in law enforcement. Sometimes, inmates are allowed to write each other back and forth. So he may at some point be able to communicate with her. Now, in our facility, he will not be able to communicate with her um, by mail or any other way. Um, they'll have and he wants to? He does. He loves her. Oh he needs a prison shrink or something. He loves her. He, and he, he's adamant that he's in love with her and that he worships her. That's what he kept telling me, I worship her. So. I just, I don't know. I think I'm still in shock about, I, I don't even, I mean, I haven't talked to anybody. And it's like, I know once I get my friends around me. I'm probably going to lose my mind, but it's like, yeah. I'm just trying to keep it together for my kid. I don't want him to see me lose it, you know? Right. I understand that. I understand that completely. And it's weird because I almost feel like Nick's safer right now than having her orchestrating him doing anything, you know? It was like everything she said, he would, no, no, you know, okay, baby, or whatever. And, oh, my God, I just... Do you know how they met? No, it just had to be on the internet, that's all I know. Yeah, that's what they told us, was that like a dating site. So, it was like Christian free really? dating or something like that. Wow. But some of the items we collected from his room was, of course, um, the clothing that he wore whenever he killed the, um, the knife. Um, oh my gosh, they I had wouldn't even thought anything, I would have freaking grabbed him and taken him right down here and said, take care Bye. of this. Yeah. yeah, absolutely. I think there was a little around four to five thousand dollars of cash uh, that they had stolen from the lady, that, her mom. Oh my God. Um, we took um, some of his computer stuff, some of their love notes, clothing, cell phone, things like that. Wow. So. I mean, I knew that he was, like, madly in love with her. Why? I have no idea. But um, there's no way I could comprehend him doing this. Like I said, he's always been a good kid. He, I just never give him trouble. Well, he... Good-natured kid, you know? He definitely did it. He definitely told us exactly how he did it. And well, he, yeah. It I matches. Mean, he'll be honest. He's honest. Yeah. He's honest. And it matches. Everything he said matches our scene yeah. and everything and it's consistent and um is she like i mean is she taking any sort of you know is she like well okay it was me too or is she trying to put it all on? um she takes some responsibility but not much not much at all um like, I heard someone say, they said something on news, like, he raped her. I'm like, give me a break. You know, a couple months before that, my friend's calling me saying she wants to have a baby with yeah. him. I mean, come on. Uh, that that statement right there, uh, she made um, on a Facebook post. Did you see the Facebook post where no. it says, oh, okay, that's right. Well, on Dee and Gypsy's Facebook post that they share, um, there's some horrible messages that were posted on there that said, like, I believe like they slashed her and or like I slashed her, I killed her, and then I raped the girl and the girl's dead too. Well, those all were actually posted by gypsies. I'm done. Um, Thank so, you for everything. It well, like I said, my heart breaks to you. And if I see him, I'll be glad to tell him that. Yeah, and just tell him that we love him. And, um, you have my card, and yeah. if you have any questions or say something gets confusing here and you're like, I don't know why this is happening or that's happening, maybe you can give me a call and I can call up here and get you some answers. All right. um, and I just want you to know that, you know, 
whatever he's done, he is a good kid. I get I that feeling when I, I talk mean, to him. He is a really good kid, and anything you ask him, he will be honest with you. Okay. You know? All right. Thank, Thank you for everything. Okay. Good luck. Be in touch. Okay.